Now for part B then we've got to work out the range of G and the range of G will be all the Y values that we can get in the domain going from minus 1 to 8 and those Y values are these values that go from minus 9 all the way up through here to 4. So the range then would be written something like this. It'll be g of x is greater than or equal to minus 9 but less than or equal to 4. Between minus 9 and 4 then. So for part c next we've got to work out g g of 2. Now although it's presented like this I must admit I always like to think of putting another bracket in here. It's up to you but I think it's better like that. It's g of g of 2. So what is g of g of 2? This g is the one on the outside here. The g of 2 will be when x is 2 you can see that you get 0. So it's going to be g of 0. And what is g of 0? What do we get when x is 0? When x is 0 can you see that you get minus 6. So that's going to be equal to minus 6. And finally in part d here we've got to work out f g of 8. And again with something like this I personally would want to put a bracket in here f of g of 8. And if we're doing this it'll be f of whatever g of 8 is. And what is g of 8? Well when x is 8 notice that we get 4. So it's f of 4. Now what is f of 4? Well, we've got to go back to the earlier part of the question where we saw that f of x was equal to 3 minus 2x all divided by x minus 5. So when it comes to what f of 4 is, we just need to substitute x is 4 then into here. So we're going to get 3 minus 2 times 4 all over 4 minus 5. And if you work that out, you end up with minus 5 on the top over minus 1, which is clearly 5. All right, so uh, there you go. Hopefully that gives you some idea then how to do parts B, C and D.